Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and iOS 11.3 beta was actually just released to developers today, and this update packs a few new features. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in iOS 11.3 beta. Starting off with the feature that was pulled from the original iOS 11 release, but is now back in 11.3 for testing, and that is iCloud Messages iCloud messages with two-factor authentication enabled will allow you to back up all of your messages to iCloud. This of course will not only free up space on your iPhone by keeping photos or attachments in iCloud, but you can also view all of your messages without skipping a beat if you were to get a new iPhone, iPad, or a Mac. This is a welcome change for those who prefer to never delete their old messages and can now store them in iCloud. Apple has also introduced four new Animojis in the 11.3 update. Those who use Animojis can now send messages to their friends as a talking lion, dragon, skull, or bear. Of course, this feature is only available to those with an iPhone X. iOS 11.3 also includes improved ARKit tools for developers. ARKit 1.5 can recognize and place virtual objects on vertical surfaces, and it can more accurately map irregularly shaped surfaces like circular tables. ARKit is able to recognize the position of 2D images like signs, posters, and artwork, integrating them into AR experiences. The real-world view through the camera when using AR also supports a 50% greater resolution, up to 1080p, and ARKit 1.5 now supports autofocus. The Health app also added a new feature today called Health Records, which will make it easier for patients with a participating medical institution access their records within the Health app. The app will display records like a patient's allergies, clinical vitals, ongoing conditions, lab results, etc. The beta also introduced a few minor changes like a video of the day for Apple News, an update to the App Store updates page that now shows the version number and download size for all updates, and there's a new icon that instructs you to press the side button when installing apps on the iPhone X. There is also support for advanced mobile location where you can automatically send a user's current location when making a call to emergency services in supported countries. Finally, iOS 11.3 beta introduces a few new features that haven't been implemented quite yet, but we can expect to see them soon. Those features include an update to power management, which will actually show more info about your device's battery health, as well as allow users to turn off power management altogether so that you can prevent your phone from being throttled. There's also a new update to Apple Music, which focuses heavily on music videos and allows users to stream music videos uninterrupted by ads and generate music video playlists. Business Chat is also going to be launching this spring in beta and will allow users to communicate with customer service reps from companies like Discover, Lowe's, Wells Fargo, and Hilton, and you can talk to a customer service rep all within the Messages app. So what are your thoughts on the new iOS 11.3 beta? Let us know in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.